What up everybody, it's Jared from Game Garden Genesis, and this is Throwback Thursday. It's been a little while, uh, consider this, uh, episode as, like, season 1.5, because it's kind of, think of this as, like, the announcement video for season 2 of Throwback Thursday. So, uh, just as kind of a brief thing, uh, this se like, the season 2 is gonna feature a lot more older games, um, because I now have access to them. And, uh, furthermore, I'm going to redo some of the stuff within the episodes itself. But right now, we're just gonna stick to the standard kind of format, you know? Um, but yeah, this is, a uh, Sims 2 on the PlayStation 2, but, uh, it's also identical to the version on the GameCube and the original Xbox. Alrighty. Um, just kind of to begin, uh, The Sims 2 is released on the PC and the Mac as its full versions. Then you have the PlayStation 2, GameCube, and Xbox, which are the cut-down versions. And then you have for the, um, mobile phone, it's just a very horribly cut-down version of, uh, The Sims 2. And then you have the DS, PSP, and Game Boy Advance versions, which were all, like, a single storyline. Um, but today's focus, like I said, is the console version. Uh, it was released October 24th, 2005, just after, just over a month after the PC version's release. Um, but here we go, let's just get into some facts. It's the last two-player Sims game, uh, because their, the next console version was The Sims 2 Pets, and that's only single player. And then everything past that is also single player. Um, within these console versions, uh, The Sims can never be permanently dead or able to be revived through a fiddling battle with the uh, Grim Reaper, or you can bribe the Grim Reaper. Uh, fact number three, there is a method of death that no other Sims game has. When a Sim is resurrected vi via the Grim Reaper, they can go dance on their own grave, and when they do that, they will automatically be set on fire and die. Um, unlike the previous console versions, uh, The Sims 2, for the for these, uh, for the console uh, uh, is focused on aspirational goals instead of like focusing within a sims career so that's a big change but I think that also kind of shifted along with like the sims 2 for the PC because they had a lot more focus on the aspirational goals as well um, fact number five along with the standard eight story lots there are four bonus lots unlocked by uh, characters at the various lots so there's four characters, each one at different lots, um, that once you talk to, and I think you complete a specific goal for them, I'm not exactly sure what goals that is, um, it allows you to unlock those four bonus uh, lots. Um, bonus fact number one, uh, the HMS Amor, which is uh, the boat that you that one of the story lots are on, is um, makes a cameo at the end of The Sims 2 Castaway players will notice that it's the same exact boat because it still doesn't have a roof. You never see any of the roofs on in The Sims 2, and therefore um, you can tell it's the exact copy because there's no roof on this boat. And the second bonus fact is, while using the metal detector, Sims will come across Herb's Sim in the City copies. They throw it away in disgust. Now, I, I personally played Herb's. It was an okay game, you just couldn't save. I don't know why, it was rather annoying. But past that, it was... It wasn't too bad, like, it's, it, like as you expect, it's just a cut down, horribly cut down version of uh, the original Sims. But, uh, yeah. Uh, I personally play this game a lot. Well, the P PS2 and I guess the PC version of The Sims 2 have played them quite a bit. Um, for the PS2 version, I've played it a lot with uh, Bryce, obviously. And, um, we have had some fairly successful Sims, but. Oftentimes, whenever you get bored, you kind of look up cheats, and then you then begin to craft random foods from your fridge, and everybody knows that goes only oh so well. But uh, yeah, the, some of the stuff in within The Sims 2 for the console is pretty nice because of the direct control. It allows you to have a lot more customization. Whenever you're making foods, like you mix the ingredients and stuff, and it actually allows you to create various foods. Sometimes you don't even know what you're making, you just slap together like lemon, sourdough bread, squid, and like milk, and it, it actually brings you up a food item, you're like, I didn't know that made that. But, um, 
Yeah, whenever that happens, you're just like awesome. But uh, for the consoles themselves, the direct control thing, it doesn't really allow for you to queue up uh, items, but normally you don't exactly have to switch between a lot of sims. I think the max sims that you can have on a lot, including the story mode ones, they most they have is like five or six. So I mean, they're, everybody's pretty controllable. Um, for the uh, game itself, they have a lot of like interesting things that you don't exactly see in the PC version, like the wave machine that you have, uh, I forget what map it is, but it's the beach one. You have that wave machine there that I exactly haven't seen in the PC version. I'm quite sure they have it somewhere, but that that was pretty cool. Um, and then also with the uh, Sims is they have a uh, like because of memory limits they have like the fire uh, like what is, I'm not exactly sure what you call it, but like the fire risk uh, menu on the for the buy and build menu because a it allows you to account for memory. B because uh, I th they don't exactly have that feature in The Sims 2 for like the PC, but but I mean they do kind of have somewhat of a limiting factor for the PC version. That's called lot space. <laughs> but yeah, for this one it's just memory. Like as you can see, the uh, house that I have built for these Sims, it's a fairly decent sized house. I mean I think I just modified it off the original structure, but as you can see, it's a decent sized house and you really approach that uh, building limit fast whether or not you realize it because a lot of these entities take up a like I think the TVs uh, take up a good chunk of the memory space but yeah you can't exact like one of the things about the console version which is disappointing is you can only stay on your lot you just have random sins end up uh, walking over to you like hey guess what I'm some complete stranger walking up to your house because you can't leave the lot and you can no longer and you can't really find anybody you have to like meet them at work or you have to wait till they walk by to go stalk them and walk sprint out to the street and be like yo I want to talk to you um, but yeah and with the console versions is there's no aging in this so your sims are always that old they're always an adult I don't even think you they have different ages I think it's just all adults so that's fun you know no no way of actually progressing along it's just like hey these two sims stuck permanently in this house but I mean not to say that it's a bad game but you know good for a console and be, being its age it's still pretty amusing to play Where are we at? um so yeah but sometimes there's an issue with like uh, putting in too much, like, too. M I don't. I don't want to say too many Sims per se, but like, I guess the house itself, in compared to the Sims, because as you can see, I had to stick a toilet outside because um. Sometimes there's an issue with the uh, Sims, um, needing to go to the bathroom often, because various foods affect how much your, uh, your bladder goes down, and so then whenever that happens, uh, your Sims kind of end up going pee everywhere or you have to build a second bathroom it's like really it's get rather annoying um but yeah their interactions on here there's it's still pr it's pretty limited based on compared to the pc version but i mean that's expected but it still does have a pretty wide range of options yeah so that was the uh sims 2 for the playstation xbox and gamecube if you have any suggestions, feel free to suggest them at uh, in the comments below.